Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at Dragon Ball Z Budokai for the PlayStation 2. Now, uh, first off, apologies, this is the Platinum version, so it's you know, not quite as nice. But it does have a completely different cover from uh, the original PS2 release. And uh, in my opinion, this cover is way better. You've got Super Saiyan Goku in full color, looking really nice. And in the background, you've got Perfect Cell, uh, Vegeta, Piccolo, and uh, Gohan. Of course, we have Funimation's logo. I don't really know why, actually, on this one, though, but, uh... But actually, something I should mention, this is the PAL version of the game. And, uh, the PAL version of Dragon Ball Z Budokai, we actually got the original Japanese voice actors with English subtitles. And, uh, so yeah, having Funimation's name on there doesn't really seem... I don't know, it just seems a bit odd to me, considering they have nothing to do with this version of the game, but anyway. And it was distributed down here by Atari, like, uh, all the Dragon Ball games were for a time. On the side, pretty simple, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. And, uh, you know, the usual description and screenshots. So, a showdown of legendary proportions. Enter the Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Test your skills against the most powerful Dragon Ball Z heroes and the most sinister villains. Will you be the last warrior standing? Relive DBZ's most intense rivalries. So there's Goku and Vegeta fighting, and you know, Krillin versus Nappa. Uh, you've got, of course, uh, Super Vegeta versus Perfect Cell, and uh, you could even unlock the Great Saiyaman, even or Saiyaman rather, even though this only actually went up to uh, the end of the Perfect Cell arc. So yeah, battle at blazing speeds in the burst zone. Anyway, so this was made by Dimps, who made the uh, next two. Budokai games, as well as Burst Limit on the PS3 and Xbox 360. So yeah, inside we have the disc. Unfortunately, because it's platinum, we don't get anything nice on it. It's just a shiny platinum disc. And we get a manual. So we get a full-page spread of, uh, you know, all the different characters, the artwork from the front cover. On the back, we get um, a few of the different symbols. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I think it might say Tenkaichi Budokai. Uh, which is the full name of the tournament in uh, the Dragon Ball Z series. Or Drag yeah. So, um, yeah. Budokai just means tournament, basically. So, now surprisingly enough, we actually have a full color manual, and it's pretty nicely done. So, in the background, you can see half of Shenlong there. We have uh, Goku with his Nyoibo. Uh, the stick, and um, this is actually the piece of artwork that was on the front cover of the original non-platinum version. So, uh, yeah. We have pretty cool artwork of Piccolo. We have, uh, for some reason, we have Margin Boo era Vegeta. Uh, one of the things that I really love about this game is its attention to detail in the menus. So you have all these really cool pieces of artwork, even though it's stuff that doesn't really apply to the game. Oh, sorry. So we have uh, like a little kid Goku on the uh, Kinto Un up there. We have Goku and Vegeta fighting in Super Saiyan like they did in uh, the Boo arc. We have uh, Goku and Piccolo's fight at the Tenkaichi Budokai at the end of Dragon Ball. Uh, Kame House with uh, you know Sea Turtle and uh, Kame Senin. So all, all those different things. They're just really nice you know attention to detail. And even though this game is definitely the weakest of all the different you know, Dragon Ball fighting games, uh, it's very interesting to see where it all began, and it's uh, still definitely a fun game in its own right. So we get some more artwork. Screenshots of the game. Anyway, you get the idea, so... It's a surprisingly nice manual for the PS2 generation, and this was early PS2 as well, so... Yeah, so that is your look at Dragon Ball Z Budokai on the PlayStation 2. If you do want to check out uh, the original Budokai game, I'd probably recommend getting it on the GameCube if you've got one, because uh, that was actually an updated version. Not only does it have uh, a nicer front cover, which is this one right here, but it uh, also actually has uh, improved graphics. They started using a, a cell shaded style, and uh, that's what they'd continue on with in uh, Budokai 2 and 3, and it looks significantly better from what they did with this original Budokai game. But anyway, so thanks for watching guys, and see you later.